Let's take a look at our Corona tail of the tape. Corona who invites you to find your beat. As you see, Darrell is older. He has the height advantage and a slight advantage when it comes to the reach. The tables have been set. It's main event time here in Flint, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, the Door Federal Event Center here in Flint, Michigan. Premier Boxing Champions now features the main events live on FS1, 10 rounds in the Super Middleweight Division. The three judges ringside arm, John Basili, Ben Rochester, and Angel Stewart. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Frank Garza. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the blue, trimmed with the gold. His professional record stands at 20 wins, 12 of those coming by way of knockout against five losses. Fighting out of Marlboro, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dennis Mama's Boy Douglas. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the black, trimmed with the red. His professional record, an outstanding one. 30 wins, 24 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss and one bout even. Fighting out of Flint, Michigan. He is the former super middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anthony the Dog Durrell. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. When I say break, give me a clean break, but protect yourself at all times. When I say stop, Stop punching. Both your trunks are right where they need to be. Keep the punches off the trunk. Touch them up, come out at the bell, may the best man win. It is main event time for the first time in six years. Anthony Durrell fighting here before his legions of admirers. Looking to make it a joyous occasion. Dennis Duglin trying to play spoiler here in the homecoming. Ray Flores, Robert Easter Jr., former welterweight champion of the world, joining us here, ringside, Andre Berto. Yes, sir. Great to talk with you, Andre, as the two champs next to me. Anthony Durrell, conventional stance. Southpaw is Dennis Duglin. Durrell trained under Javon Sugarhill, who he's been with since 2013. Dennis Duglin has been trained by his mother, Sophia, during the duration of his career. That's why he has the nickname of Mama's Boy. Andre, you went ahead and you've seen Anthony Durrell. You actually came here to watch him fight, but how much and how focused is Anthony Durrell heading into this matchup? Um, you know, he's extremely focused on me. He's right here in front of his hometown. He got to put on the show. Uh, you know, he knows how important this is. Um, and he's looking forward to put on a great show tonight, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do. In the first round, Robert, you having fought in Toledo not once this year, but twice. How much is it for you to be able to kind of calm your nerves down? Um, as a fighter, as a professional, you got to know to block everything down. Oh. Just go in there and take care of your business. That's what the crowd want to see. You take care of your business and get a big win. Darrell has dealt with his fair share of adversity during the course of his life. He actually had non-Hopkins lymphoma in December 2006 as Duckman looking to close the distance. He actually beat non-Hopkins lymphoma and was back inside the ring less than two years after having been diagnosed with it under an extensive chemotherapy treatment. The referee charged Frank Gattisa telling Dennis Duckman, warning him about holding behind the head. And also, Durrell suffered a motorcycle accident some years later where he broke his arm and he was back inside the ring again, not deterred, and a big winging shot there by Durrell and Andre. It is Durrell who's swinging for the fences. He's finishing yeah, he is. He's, uh, you know, he's right in front of his, uh, you know, his hometown people, and he definitely wants to give them a great show. He looks alert, 
Uh, he looks focused, and he knows that he has a very live guy in front of him, so, so he's definitely just trying to stay sharp. Douglin closing the distance here. A direct fight on the inside, demonstrated that against Sakio Pika twice. He had a draw with Pika and then would win the world championship in the rematch. Since losing the title, a couple of hooks by Durrell. They left the clock on the Great punching power by Durrell, and he's going in for the kill. Another big, heavy, straight right hand. Durrell is by definitely going Durrell. in for the kill. He smelled blood <laughs> early. He definitely smelled blood, and he's going for it. And that's the end of the first. And Douglin will great go back round. to his seat. A great first round by Durrell to finish that off. I believe he really had Douglas's attention now. Oh, and yeah. here is some of the action from the replay, Robert. The real in the flurry of punches, you know, that's when he had him hurt. Try to get him out of there. Another look here as wow. that was a big right hook from Anthony Durrell and Douglas trying to tie up. And Frank got us a warning him, but Anthony Durrell seems to be very composed and relaxed. He's very composed and relaxed. Looks like he knows what he needs to do. Um, you know, he's right there in front of his grandfather that, that basically got him into the fight game. You know, he looks relaxed, composed. Um, and he's looking forward to going there and just make a statement. And Robert, the keys to victory, as you just saw for Robert, for Anthony Durrell. He said he needed to just box. And, and that was one of the focal goals. things. Douglas would. And avoid, and also put together combinations. Douglas would definitely make this fight look rugged because he's a rough, rugged fighter. And, um, you know, Durrell has the, all the boxing skills. Ah. When we asked Anthony Durrell about Dennis Douglas talking, he said, look, he goes, it's more talk. He's got to get in that circle by himself, and we have to fight on Friday night. So Anthony Durrell has dealt with the who's who in boxing and is not afraid of anybody whatsoever. Oh no, whenever Trash talking is done outside the ring, every fighter knows there's only one person that's stepping in that ring. Frank got us a warning, Dennis Douglas again. The fans here looking to see a magical performance from Anthony Durrell, the 33 year old. Well said he has aspirations. He wants to fight David Benavides. Would love that matchup. There's discussion about Benavides and Ronald Gabriel to possibly have a rematch. But Douglin is coming forward, having some success here, at least in spurts. I mean, it's like Anthony Durrell really just trying to, to really get familiar with that softball style. Um, the work that check left hook as well as that straight right hand. But, but like I said, Douglas is a, is a live one in front of him, man. He's not gonna make this easy for him tonight at all. When Robert Dennis Douglas has fought the likes of George Groves, David Benavides, Jamel Charlo, so he has seen various styles at a high level. Oh yeah, he's been in a room with some of the best of them. And um, he's not looking to back down on this fight either. Under a minute left here in the second. And incidentally, guys, Anthony Durrell actually has the Durrell Chance Foundation, whose efforts are dedicated to stopping bullying, and some of the proceeds from tonight's event are going to that foundation. Anthony Durrell, I, I believe he's getting to a place that he's really trying to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, he's trying to stock his, he's trying to stock his opponent a little bit more now. He's trying to add a little bit of that pressure. Because just with him just laying back, you know, he's giving this guy a lot more of an opportunity just to let his hands go. Oh, yeah. Douglas will definitely make this fight with Robert, the ref, if you let him. Now they're against the ropes. Anthony Durrell and Dennis Douglas. 
Final moments of the second. As we go into the corner of Dennis Dunman, who's trained by his mother, Sophia. Let's take a look at some of the keys to victory for Dennis, Mama's boy, Douglas Robert. He needs to use the jab, fight at his pace, and he needs to hold when he's hurt because Anthony Durrell can certainly put you out when he senses that you might be on the ropes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Douglas needs to stay close to Durrell and not let him get as much, as punch, much punches off. So far, Andre, what are you seeing out of Dennis Douglas in his account of himself? All right, I see Dennis Gus. Douglas, I mean, uh, you know, just like I said, I believe he's a very live guy. You know, he's letting his hands go. He's trying to let the real know that he's here. Um, he isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon. And he's here to fight. And he's not going to make this situation easy for the real. Even though he's. If he's at home, you know, he knows what's at stake, but he's going to let the world know that he's here to fight. And if he selects even a little bit, he's going to try, he's going to, try to steal this away from him. And for Anthony, his older brother, Andre Durrell, is ringside. Andre, a well-accomplished amateur, won a bronze medal in the Olympics back in 2004. Okay. Round three, this one's scheduled for 10. I'd like to see Durrell let his hands go a little bit more, pick up the punch count. And Douglin is a southpaw. He has like a combination where he can fight on the inside, guys, but also he has somewhat of a slick, really rough and tumble, rugged style. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. I mean, you know, just like we said now, I mean, he's not been trying to make this He's not trying to make this fight easy for Durrell at all. And he's going to stay outside on the outside. He's going to jab, and he's going to try to make his way in and try to make it rough on the inside for Durrell. Like I said, as ugly as he wants to try to make this fight, as long as he tries to come out with this win, that's where his focus is tonight. That's what it looks like. Um, and he's going to let his hands go just like that. He's going to he's going to tie Durrell up. He's going to throw little shots on the inside just like that and make this thing rough for him. Yeah, little rabbit punches as we just saw there on the break before the referee separated them. Yeah. And Durrell needs to get into a space, into a zone of just boxing and doing what he has to do. Right now, it looks like he's just looking for one big shot to try to hurt this guy. Um, yeah, just like he did at the end of the first round. He needs to go back to his game plan, and he needs to box this guy and just work his combinations and just let it come to him. Yeah, Darrell needs to definitely pick up the punch count of boxing and use a little bit more jabbing. We're well, using a baseball analogy, guys. Instead of going for the home run shot, he needs to look at singles and doubles and just making contact. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Because after that first round, Darrell has made it clear that he, you know, he has the punching power to hurt this kid. Um, like I said, right now he just needs he just needs to settle it down. You know, he's in front of his home crowd. You know, he shouldn't get too excited. Really had to do. A big shot there by Anthony Durrell, but Douglas took it fine. Yeah, yeah, but Durrell could definitely hurt him at will, but he needs to uh, set them shots up. Set them shots up in combinations in order to finish it off. Well, Durrell, with a 75% knockout percentage, he has that eraser, but uh, you have to set that up in time with some jabs and kind of having Douglas off balance. Oh, yeah, because then you'll get a. Uh, Used to just loading up and looking for one shot and telegraphing your punches. Okay, that's the thing with fighting in your hometown. It can be a gift and a curse because you want to go out and put on a great performance, a great knockout. You're hearing the crowd, you're seeing all your people in the crowd, all your family in the crowd. You need to stick to the game plan, though. Definitely. Premier Boxing Champions Tuesdays on FS1. As you go and take a look at the sketch tomorrow night, it'll be PBC on Bounce, E.J. Smith, Julian J. Rock Williams from Las Vegas, Tuesday, November 21st. This upcoming Tuesday, Devin Alexander, Walter Castillo. Looking forward to being down in Florida for that one. Friday, December 8th, Ahmed Albiali takes on Jean Pascal, Chad Dawson, Edwin Rodriguez. That'll be on December 8th, down in Florida, December 15th in California, the return 
of the former world champion Jesse Vargas and Aaron Herrera. January 20th to start off 2018, it'll be Errol Spence Jr. defending his championship against Lamont Peterson. That'll be on January 20th on Showtime. Andre, tell us about your thoughts on Errol Spence and his development, his match racing. You guys are in the same weight class. Sure, I mean, Errol Spence is just that young bull, man. I mean, you know, he's kind of just how we look. You know, I mean, all of us were coming straight out of the gate. I mean, he's young, he's hungry, he's strong. Um, he's so confident, and he just wants to take over the, the, the division. And when you got a young, hungry kid like that, it's kind of hard to try to deter him from where he's trying to get to. A big right hand there by Anthony Durrells. He swarms him. What's next for you, Andre, coming up in your career? <laughs> We're working on some things. Huh, some you things. Guys, you got to stay tuned. Some things. When he says some things, that means some big things. So <laughs> right now, Anthony Durrells looking for a big finish here in the fourth. But that's the way Douglas wants it. That's the oh, way yeah. Douglas wants it. Douglas wants to get him unfocused and wants him to be able to you know, stray away from his game plan. Um, you know, so he can try to catch him with a shot. But Anthony Durrell needs to stay focused. Stay focused. He's in front of his home crowd. Do not let this kid get him off of his game plan with all the nasty tactics. He needs to stay focused, use his jab, run those combinations, and let it come. A big right hand that momentarily backed up Dunklin from Anthony Durrell. Like I said before, Dunklin is gonna make this fight look rough and nasty and, and rugged, but Durrell has to keep his composure in boxing and set them shots up. And Durrell's actually talking to Dennis Douglas, there's been moments here in the fourth where he was talking to Douglas. Yeah, he knows he can hurt him. Like I said before, he, he can hurt him at will. But he just got to set the shots up and pick up the punch count. Douglas looking over at the referee as to say, when are you going to separate me? And then Douglas, as soon as he separates me, threw a jab. Douglas trying to be busy here on the inside. Well, this right here is going to work to his favor to the point he can get in there. Anthony Durrell needs to, needs to get that grit. He needs to get that grit on the inside, just feel it. Anytime he really throws his hands and really hits his guy, he can hurt him whenever he, whenever he wants to. But he has to set it up. He just can't wait on one shot. Well, big uppercut moments ago that checked the jaw of Dennis Douglas. And it was a push. It wasn't malicious by Durrell. It sent Douglas to the canvas. 35 seconds left in the fourth. Durrell, a big left hook. Big left hook. Looks like it hurt. Looks like it hurt Douglas. Yeah, Douglas is getting hurt with those hooks. Now it's Anderson against the ropes. And he got the good hook job. with a big Man, right those hand. Big Like I said, Darrell knows that he can hurt him. He knows that he can hurt him, but he has to set those shots up. He doesn't. And Coach there, and that ends the round. It is so loud in here that you could not even hear the sound of the bell. Great action, great action here in Flint, Michigan tonight. And people are standing here in Flint, Michigan. Darrell is going for the kill every round. Every punch he throws is going to eat the power. Great action, great action here in Flint, Michigan. The people here are excited. They're on their feet. They want to see their hometown kid go ahead and bring this boy down. And it was extremely eventful. Anthony Durrell being guided by Javon Sugar Hill. And together they have made a heck of a team over these last four years, Andre, yeah. as they say that they have more of a bond than just trainer to fighter. They're friends. They go to yeah. football games together. They really enjoy being around one another. Yeah, Sugar Hill, I've known him for a long time, ever since I was an amateur. He's a good guy. Um, you know, it's always great when you have that type of bond with your trainer, um, you know, outside the ring as well, outside the gym as well. You know, it brings a little bit more of a, you know, nice connection. Um, and it looks like it's been working great for him. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they certainly, they like to golf together, play video games with one another, and also they make sure that they put the time in at the gym. But right now, Anthony Durrell, his confidence is starting to grow, Robert, as you see that he's really letting his hands go more. Oh yeah, both of these fighters are trash talking back and forth. They both uh, let each other know they're not going nowhere. High guard by Anthony Durrell, and then when he crouches, he stings you with his big shots. Yeah, he's in the, uh, you know, Anthony Durrell's in that stock mode right now. He has his guard up high. Um, you know, he's walking this kid down, and every chance that he has, he's trying to land something that's going to hurt him to try to slow him down and try to finish him off. Like I said, he's here in front of his hometown, and he wants to try to put on a tremendous show. Um, and what's and what's more tremendous than a knockout? Robert, it looks like the forward pressure is exhausting Dennis Douglas, not just physically, but more on the mental side. Oh yeah, Darrell is definitely uh, coming with more punches and uh, wearing that style down of uh, Douglas. So he has that in your, Douglas has that in your face style, not going to work, but it's looking like it's coming, uh, coming to an end in these few in the last few rounds. 70 seconds remaining in the fifth. Durrell's bringing that pressure. He's having that high guard. Just a it's almost like a mental, it's almost like a mental breakdown to Douglas as well. If you have an opponent in front of you that's steady coming, steady coming, steady coming, that's, I that can get you mentally drained and mentally tired as well. Oh, yeah. So I believe that's what Durrell is doing. Durrell is just trying to bring that pressure, bring that heat, and trying to break him down physically and mentally. So he's trying to finish the job. And Durrell is seeing that breakdown in him too, so that's why he keeps coming forward, throwing big punches. Nice body shot. And Durrell driving. Douglin against the ropes. Douglin sitting down and winging shots on the inside. But Durrell is more than willing to exchange here at such a close distance. You're watching PBC on FS1 here from Flint, Michigan. He's working physically. And he's trying, to, he's trying to knock him down mentally as well. He's right in his face. He's, he's banging. breaking him down with them body shots. Body shots, head shots. He's up and down with it. There's a reason why they call him the dog, because he just loves to mix it up at close distance, and he enjoys these kind of fights. Loves it. He loves it. Look at his face. Look at him looking at his family. He's trying to take him up out of there. Hey, don't forget Premier Boxing Champions Tuesday on FS1. Former world champion Devin Alexander returns to the ring after a two-year layoff. He battles rugged challenger Walter Castile in the main event. Fight action begins Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern on FS1. or stream it live on Fox Sports Go. Looking forward to being down in St. Petersburg, Florida for the return of Devin Alexander. As we are five rounds are in the books so far, Robert, how do you see Anthony Durrell looking? I see Anthony Durrell looking relaxed. You know, he's landing more punches as the rounds go on. And uh, wearing um, Douglin down. Andre for Dennis Douglin. What do you think he's feeling as he's being spoken to by his trainer, his mother, Sophia? Um, you know, he's feeling the pressure right now. You know, he know he's dealing with a man that's on a mission in front of him. Um, where he knows that, you know, Anthony Durrell, you know, has the power to hurt him, and at the same time, he's bringing that pressure. So he's not, he's not stepping back one bit. So, yeah, I mean, Douglas definitely needs to try to figure something out, try to, try to get back in his bag, try to get like a, you know, another game plan, either box him or move or, or whatever the case may be. But that rough tactic where it looks like, you know, Anthony Durrell's win that right now. They just tied up and he almost pushed around to the canvas. And Frank Gunnis has taken away a point. I don't agree with this whatsoever. I think that was too little too soon. It's already a rough fight. Just let like, him go. Just let it them out. go. You know, look, look, I'm not saying one side is innocent whatsoever, but when it's happening on both sides, let them just fight. Right and right hand. Right 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 back up, Doug. Step back. Step back. Let him go. And now Durrell, he's smiling. He almost feels like he has Douglin where he wants him. Yeah, he's getting comfortable. He's smiling now. This is going to be a real dangerous, dangerous position that Douglas is. 
is in to have and, and to feel this comfortable. Um, to smile and have fun in there. That's you have a real dangerous fighter. Yeah. Real knows he can hurt him with that right hand. And he's whipping him every chance he get. Also, Robert, we're seeing the left hook that's coming out from Anthony Durrell. He's trying to line him up with that straight right hand. Douglas is using his feet more now, trying to stay away from the punches. Instead of having that uh, inside game now. Now he's looking, uh, looking to be on the outside. I mean, I do have an issue with, you know, with fighting, uh, you know, softball. It's just the fact that you keep tangled up. Head butts. Head butts, you know, you run over each other on a regular basis. So, you know I mean? I, all of this right here is not, it's not, uh, this isn't uncommon in the world of boxing when it comes to a conventional fighter in the softball. I believe Anthony Royal has a cut on his eye now. Um, yeah, like I said, these are the things you have to deal with with fighting the oh, softball wow. if you're conventional. That's a bad cut. It's yeah. on the outside of the eye, and it's this would be, and he's blinking quite a bit. And so if he cannot continue, he will go to the scorecards. And Anthony's trying to clear his vision. So this fight, four rounds have taken place. So we will go to the scorecards. And Anthony's blinking, and I think this one is over. No, it's not. They, he's going back to the neutral corner. They were shaking their head. And I wonder what is going to transpire now. Yeah, that cut is definitely going to be effective if they continue to fight. Okay, so I was just informed by the referee, an accidental headbutt. We are going to go to the scorecards. So an accidental headbutt, meaning we are going to go to the scorecards. And a little bit as we see some of the action here. As we go ahead and see there's, there's a little bit of a melee going on. Uh, and she's okay, just some trash talking between the fans from Anthony Durrell and Sophia Douglas. And Anthony Durrell showing respect and he's telling the mother to get inside the ring. He's saying, come inside the ring to go ahead and look, they show some respect between one another. And we see that there is an an accidental headbutt great and they job, embrace. This is great, great sportsmanship great sportsman between Anthony Durrell and Sophia Ducklin. There you go, great Anthony Durrell sensing that the crowd, that there may be a little bit of a skirmish. He goes right away to the mother of Dennis Ducklin, tells her to come inside the ring. They embrace, it's all gamesmanship. And thankfully, now great. we are going to go to the scorecards because of the accidental headbutt. Great sportsmanship by Anthony Durrell. Because that could have turned into a real bad situation oh, yeah. over here. That definitely could have turned out. Definitely could have turned ugly out here. But he definitely controlled the situation just by something simple, just like that, um, by controlling this whole situation. That could have turned out really bad. Absolutely. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back and get the official decision between Anthony Durrell and Dennis Duck, you're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. We're gonna go to the scorecards, but here is the headbutt that caused the laceration outside the left eye of Anthony Durrell. It was because of that headbutt that the doctor has deemed Anthony Durrell unable to continue because more than four rounds have been in the scorebook, we will go to the scorecards. Five official rounds were completed, so now we go to the scorecards. It will be a technical decision, and the judges have to render their verdict based on the five completed rounds. We were midway through the sixth, but it was only five rounds which will be judged per the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, due to an accidental headbutt, a laceration occurred as the ringside physician deems Anthony Durrell unable to continue. Therefore, we go to the scorecards. Judges at ringside, Ansel Stewart has the contest 49-46.
Benjamin Rochester and John Basili has the contest 48 to 47 for your winner by unanimous decision, Anthony the Dog.